Yo, so I got a lot of new people that say they started Deep Woken because of my content, which I really appreciate. They don't know how to start off or where to go and want some advice. So this is going to be a two-part series, at least two parts. First part is going to be Trial of One and how to beat it. Second part will be where to go after Trial of One to level up quickly with a few different options. So we're going to start out with Trial of One. This is what I suggest anybody that's new to start out with. Trial of One, if you can beat that, it's going to help you throughout the whole game because enemies in Trial of One are enemies you're going to come across throughout the game regularly. So if you know how to beat them, it's going to make the game a ton easier. So they would beat Trial of One. The game became a lot easier, at least to a certain point. So we're going to walk through Trial of One right now. Let's go ahead and get started. And I will talk about each fight before we start it, and then I'll talk through the fight as well. So let's cut to the first part. All right, so first is the parry test. This is super simple. After each five parries, it just goes a little bit faster. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then just spam F as fast as you can. Uh, spam parry as fast as you can. So I'm going to do it right now. I'll count it out as well. As soon as you hear the sound, just hit the parry. One, two, three, four, five. Now faster. One, two, three, four, five. Now spam. That's it. Easy. Easy. All right, next for the Sharko, he has three moves, right? He does a double swipe, a single swipe, and a kick. Those are his basic three moves. If he does kick you away, he's going to bend down and do like a, a quick attack, almost like a parry challenge. You're just going to hold F to parry the whole thing. So he always starts out with a double slash every time. So it's going to be double slash. You're going to hit him twice. He's going to do a single slash. You're going to hit him once. Then he's going to kick. You're going to hit him a couple times, and then he's going to either do a double slash or a single slash. He's got to be ready for that second parry for the double slash because he doesn't always do it. Or just let the second slash hit you. It's not that big a deal. He always starts out with two attacks, two fists. Ready? One, two. Hit, hit. He's going to do one and then dodge. And then one, two. Wait a minute. Parry. He sometimes hits once or twice. It doesn't really matter. Get ready for the kick always. Just stay next to him. Parry. You can go for a second parry just in case. Kick. Just dodge it again. And that's it. If he kicks you away, he'll do this thing where he squats down and does a multitude attack. So you just hold F to parry them all. All right. Next up is the Rock Golem. He has five moves. They're super simple. He has a slam that he's going to do right away on you. Um, after the slam, he's going to wind up where you can get about four hits in. Before he tries to hit you with a blast beam, you can just run and dodge out of the way. Um, he has a punch that he'll usually do third. And if he punches you away, he'll do a yell with the drop some rocks on you. Just get back to him as quickly as possible. And then he has a twirling attack where as long as you're paying it, you can keep attacking the whole time he's doing this. You keep tapping F and just holding down the attack button and you'll hit him the whole time while you parry and he'll die really quickly. All right, here we go. So like I said, he's going to do a slam attack. Hit him four times. Ready? Slam. One, two, three, four. He's charging it up. Just get out of the way. I didn't get out of the way. He's going to swing. And now he's going to do the twirling attack. Now just hold down your attack button the whole time. And then just start hitting parry. Don't let up on that attack button. Just keep attacking while you parry. And that's it. Dies like that. Next is the Thresher. The Thresher always starts out with trying to bite you. He bites one, two, three. Um, he has, I think, three other attacks in that. He does a double claw attack, which is just parry, parry. He does a spin tail attack. We just got to be patient. Hit the F on the tail when it comes to you. And then he does, when he goes underground, and when you see the red, you just roll out of the way. So as you'll see right away, he's going to start out with a triple bite attack. It's going to be one, two, three. All right, so ready? One, two, three. Hit a couple of times. Just wait. He's going to go underground. Just hit dodge. One, two. Wait a second. There's the tail. There's the two swipes. And those are his moves. That's it. You've seen them all. Tail again. Double swipe. Tail. I mean, super basic. Super basic. All right, next are the angels. There's a trick to the angels. 
after the talking, the little script part leaves, you count to three seconds and just hit your heavy attack. You're going to hit them and then just start swinging. Or if you have a mantra, use your mantra. But I'm going to hit him with a crit and then I'm just going to start swinging basically. So we're going to count to three here and then we're going to do crit. One, two, three, crit. And then they go flying. And then just smack them when they come down. Just kind of stay on top of them. They're not really that difficult at all. Once one's down, if you can burn it, which I missed, then it would have been over. Just stay on top of that one so he doesn't um so he doesn't get up, basically. If you burn it, then that's over. And all you gotta do is just kill one of them and they both die. And that's really it. Super simple. All right, next up is the Enforcer. I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble with this one. I did too in the beginning. It's really just a parry trade. It's really simple once you get used to it. He's always going to start out with a kick every time. So as soon as he goes for the kick, just hit parry, attack, parry, attack, parry, attack, just like that. After every parry, you can actually throw in a crit, but you have to be ready to parry immediately after because as soon as you hit him with a crit, he's going to start swinging and you have to be ready to parry immediately. So I usually only do a crit after each kick. So I'm just going to parry, attack, parry, attack. When I get the kick, parry, crit, and then parry, attack. The only other move he'll do is he won't actually hit you sometimes when you go to parry and he'll faint and miss you. If he faints and miss you, just hold down the F button. Don't let it go until he gets ready to do another attack and then you can hit the parry again. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. I'm going to skip to the fight. Oh, it's Enforcer. Damn it. I forgot to hit record for the Stone Knight when I was talking about it before I fought him. So basically the Stone Knight has four moves. He has a kick move, a move where he like brings a tower to hit you up. He has a single and double swing sword attack. And then if he does kick you away, he will do a like a wind attack that you can just parry. So basically what I do is I dodge every single move for the first move. So when he kicks, I dodge, of course. When he does a tower, I dodge, of course. But even when he swings his sword, I dodge. That way, in case he's doing a kick or a tower, you're already dodging. So when he swings, I still dodge. And then I know to always look for a second sword attack for that second parry. So dodge everything, parry the second sword attack, and just attack once or twice in between. And I'll show you now what I'm talking about. Let's go. So here we go. He's going to do a double swing right away. Ready? And one two and now it's gonna dodge every first move dodge dodge right there i was ready to parry just in case dodge dodge parry dodge no parry but just in case you gotta be ready dodge dodge parry dodge dodge parry just always be ready for that second parry i mean and that is it so simple Next is just a parry test again. You're just gonna click F as fast as you can. That's it, just click X as F as fast as you can. On the last one, this guy has like super low health. So basically all I do is hit, the, cause you're gonna have orbs flying at you while you're fighting a Sharko. Basically just parry the first set of orbs and then just start attacking him relentlessly. And just the only thing you really need to be watch out for is if he goes for a kick, you need to dodge that one kick. You get kicked away, that's gonna be almost it for the parry. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you're gonna be dead. So just make sure you dodge the kick. If you dodge the kick, that's it. All you gotta do is just keep punishing him. And I'll show you how fast it is. All right, so we're gonna parry the first set of orbs and then just go in for the attack and watch for the kick. Parry, there's the kick, and then just keep attacking. And that's it, he dies so quickly. You just gotta parry the first set of orbs and then just dodge that one kick and that's it. And that's how you beat Trial of One, guys. Pretty, pretty simple. 
Um, part two, I'm going to show you where to go to next to level up quickly. All right, bye.